everybody. It's your boy Mike Rashid. Me and my bro, my little big brother, <laughs> Big Rob. We just destroyed shoulders. Today was a somewhat of a unique uh, type of shoulder workout. Trust me, it was very, very difficult. Um, the very first two movements stressed out my arms, my forearms, it was crazy. So what we did though is we superset it uh, a shoulder exercise with other shoulder exercises. That way you're making your time in the gym more efficient, shocking the body a little bit, and also you're keeping that intensity level high. All right? And that's what it's about, it's intensity. It's not how, it's not the amount of time that you spend in the gym, it's what you do with the time that you're in the gym. What is important is when to separate an average physique from an elite physique. The very first movement, I give credit to my boy Chris Albert. Albert Article, that's my boy, he showed me this. It's basically a clean, a barbell clean. You press the barbell two times, and then you bring it back down, and that's one rep. Let me tell you guys, this is brutal, all right? So, you clean, press, press, all the way down, that's one, and we repeat. Uh, Rob and I, we did five reps of that, which is 10 presses, and uh, five cleans. Um, typically, we'll do that 10 times for 20, and I'm telling you, it stresses your entire body out. Your core, when your core start getting weak, your legs start taking over, it's a total body muscle builder, even though it don't look like it. And another advantage to this movement, cardio is spiking your heart rate while you're building that muscle, okay? And you're tapping into that athletic endurance type training. So we incorporate a little bit of athletic, uh, Olympic style lifting with bodybuilding style rep ranges. So it's the best of both worlds, very efficient. But it didn't stop there. So we did that for five reps, which is really 10 reps. And then we went right into barbell upright rows. Let me tell you, brutal, brutal, brutal. So much pulling. Forearms get tight, you're weak, your grip, you really gotta concentrate on your grip strength. It's rough, but it's good, it feels good. After the first set, you're already gonna have a stupid pump. Crazy. So we did that. Uh, the, we did this 135, and then we moved up to 155. Listen, those 20 pounds made the world of difference. It was so much more difficult. So we went ahead and roughed our way through it. And then what we do, I always tell you guys, train hard, but train intelligently. We're not ego lifting. So we went ahead and dropped those 10 pound plates off, went back down to the 135 and completed the next two sets accordingly with just 135. Uh, and it was still hard. It was rough. That was brutal. After that, we moved over to uh, lateral delt raises, side delt raises. What we did, is one set, but it's one long, long, difficult set. Most of the movements you see us doing, we will do standing to engage that core. You're getting that core work. You guys ask me all the time, how do I train my abs? This is how I train my abs, by doing compound movements, compound lifts, standing. We started out with 45 pound dumbbells. We did 10 reps, dropped the weight to 35 pounds, 12 reps, dropped the weight to 30 pounds, 15 reps, and then hit the 15 again of the 30s, went up to 35s for 12, and then up to the 40s for 10. Stupid. Rob came up with this, and Rob, I'm kick your ass for that. <laughs> that was hard, bro. It was rough. You don't, that's, this is not a movement you do over and over and over. You do one long set, and it's brutal. We did over, over 70 reps with that, so there's no need to do a whole lot of sets when we're doing something like that, those high rep ranges, and this is, decent, this is decent weight. We're not grabbing 15s and 20s and doing high volume. We're grabbing heavy weight, 45 pounds, we're doing good volume. You don't have to drop the weight just to do a lot of volume. You know what I mean? You drop the weight as a natural progression because you can't do the heavy weight for that volume anymore. So you compensate by dropping the weight a little bit. You don't, drop the, you don't go into it thinking, I'm gonna do light weight so I can get a lot of volume. No, you wanna go into it uh, thinking, I wanna do this heavy weight for as many reps as possible. Uh, Ronnie Coleman, uh, I was watching an interview with him and somebody was asking him, oh, do you, you know, do you believe in the low, the heavy weight, low reps? And he's like, no. He said, I do heavy for as much as I can do, as many reps as I can do heavy for. And when I heard that when I was younger, it always stuck in my mind and I've always trained like that. So going to the next movement, we wanted to hit the rear delts. So we did a reverse fly. So you stand and you bend all the way down at a 90 degree angle and you bring your arms all the way out. This is something that you don't need a lot of weight, especially at the end of your workout when your shoulders are super fatigued. 
and you want to get good this is a, in my opinion this is a specialty movement this is not a mass building movement so you want to really sculpt so you put on a moderate weight so we just went with like 25 pound dumbbells for 15 reps we superseted that with dumbbell shoulder shrugs now how i do my shoulder shrugs we would do 10 very slow and concentrated so really squeezing it at the top and then 20 fast just beast out and again my grip strength was dying from the very first movement, so it was hard to hold on to it, but that's good because it's strengthening your forearms. I know a lot of guys like to use the wraps. Uh, I personally don't. I know that I can probably do more with the wraps, but I'm always on a quest to be stronger. So, and I'm talking about completely stronger. So I want my grip strength to be strong, so I don't use any assistance. Nothing wrong with using assistance because it will allow you to get more reps, but me, you know, I like to be, I just want to be that complete monster in the gym, you know, whether it be bench press or just holding heavy weight, you know what I mean? So I want to increase my grip strength. It will, it'll help you with um, when you're doing weighted pull-ups, when you're doing deadlifts and stuff like that. So a real strong uh, grip is, and it, it carries on into functional aspects of life. We're not just training for shows or photo shoots, we're training for life, you know what I mean? So you want to be strong everywhere, be complete. So we supersetted the uh, reverse flies with the shoulder shrugs, brutal. So we went back and forth with that, about three or four sets. And then, what's next? What's next, y'all? Y'all know what's next? Fatality. This is when we kill shoulders, we completely destroy it. So what we did, we grabbed a 45 pound dumbbell, simple, Rep, 10 reps, switch hands, 10 reps. Just keep going back and forth till you can't go no more. How many reps, Mike? Why would you ask me a question like that, bro? Who cares about how many reps and how many sets? Just go till you can't go no more. Go until you physically cannot press that weight no more to where the pain is unbearable and you have to drop it. That's exactly what me and Rob did. Mission complete. We destroyed the shoulders. And with that, that final movement, that fatality, you pumping so much blood and themselves are already expanded by all the work you did leading up to that. The fatality is the icing on the cake. You know, you finished it, that's the finisher. So y'all go ahead and give that a try. Hope y'all enjoy it. I enjoyed it, I mean, it's painful. Shoulders is one thing, like, the pump is so intense. It's, it's very rewarding, I'm gonna tell you that, but it's painful. So y'all give that a try. Let me know how it works out for you guys. But if you want these Mike Rasheed type boulders, sit on the top of your, at the top of your chest, top of your arms, you gotta train them shoulders properly, all right? So y'all go ahead and handle y'all business. Let me see how that turned out. All right, one love.